I wanted to do a review over Separation Studio. I just uh, downloaded Separation Studio, so I'm not too familiar with it. And I wanted to show you from the viewpoint of a person who's just starting to work in Separation Studio. So I wanted to do the review while I was fresh. Um, so far, I really like it. I really like it, and I really see how it could really, really be very helpful. And I'm going to go over some things with you that I've noticed from just kind of, you know, going around in it and everything and show you how to separate something using Separation Studio. Okay, so Separation Studio, it is, you can use it with Corel Draw. The only other program well, there's only one other program that I found that you could use with Corel Draw as a plug-in, and it's not too good. It crashes and things like that. But Separation Studio is separate, and it's its own program. I haven't had any crashing or anything. I've used it, you know, probably um, three, four, five, six times, um, opening and closing it and stuff like that, you know, on the same design, trying to get it to lock up, and it hasn't locked up on me. So I'm really, really happy with that, okay, because I'm one of those OCD persons. But anyways, here's Separation Studio. This is the, the way it opens up, and before I import a picture in it, I'm just going to go through the uh, file menu. Now, this is what I found under Edit Menu. It has ground change ground colors, and these are um, these are um, what we're, we're going to go to manage ground colors, which is your textiles. So you can actually import your different T-shirt colors. Okay, you can import. Now it has these, but you can go in here and you can add import um, your uh, Gildan uh, next level t-shirt colors whatever and have the right color mode so you can actually really really see exactly what that's going to look like on that particular t-shirt love it it's one thing i do love so it's cancel out of here now separation studio uh comes with um it's nine inks that makes up the colors okay um that you're using and you can do a brown but these are the colors right here the ink colors now um, I would probably think that it would probably be best to use those particular inks but let's say that you want to use a um, another type of ink um, you could definitely do that and you could import those inks in here so that you know and, and um, the color profiles for your inks that way you know exactly what that's going to print like using that ink. Awesome. I love it. So let's close that up. Um, then there's channels that I found. I noticed that you can, um, you can move away from base, move toward base, enhance your orange. You can generate a brown. Uh, merging colors, you can merge if you've got a gray in your design and let's say your design has black and white in it, you can merge that gray which takes out you printing the gray to where you're just printing uh, black and white and it'll make up the gray for you uh, suggest channels proof positive generate a black, so by default it doesn't generate a black ink you just click here and generate your black ink, I'm going to go ahead and go in I haven't messed with all of this stuff here. This is your background color. Um, we're going to be using black. From all the videos, it says that Separation Studio works better with a black background, shirt background, and if you use a black shirt background, then you can use uh, any other color background. So, pull this image off uh, of the internet. It's You've probably seen it if you watch a little couple of videos it's uh, it was actually featured in another video so I wanted to pull the same image and let's see what separation studio does with it right off the bat I'm shocked okay I don't work for separation studio or have anything to do with Ryan Net corporation or anything like that y'all so don't think that this is a promo I'm literally 
really, really shocked. Open it up, and I look down, and I see color channels. This thing separates the colors as soon as you open it. I didn't have to click not one button. And the job is color separated, okay? Love it. Oh, I love it, love it, love it. Anyways, here's your under base, your red, your blue. We don't have a blue channel. Any Anytime you don't have that color, just delete it. It's your yellow or gold. You don't have it, just delete it. Now, I didn't prep this uh, artwork before I did anything, to, before I brought it in. I just brought it in. I could have prepped it in Corel Draw, but then I just brought it in. And uh, just to show you uh, any image, you know, that even if the image isn't perfect, this is what it, it does. Now, you can go back and you can do all of that other stuff if you need to do something. But now we're down to one, two, three, four, five colors. Okay. Let's get those colors down. When you click on the gray, you notice there's a little bit of gray. So what I'm going to do... So I'm going to click on my proof positive. You've got these little check marks down here. If I uncheck it, it shows me what this design will look like uh, if the gray is not printed. And now I'm going to check it back. That's with the gray print. That's without the gray print. I don't see any difference. So I'm going to select the gray channel. I'm going to go up here to channel. And I'm going to hit merge gray. That's going to push that gray in to... Um, the white and the white and the black is going to make that up, okay? So now I'm down to three colors. I can take off the underbase. Then I want to print it with the underbase. I can take off red. Let's see what it, this would print like if it was just a one color job. That's how it would print, okay, as a one color job without doing any type of enhancements or anything like that, okay? So that's a one color job. Now, let's print it with the red. Print it with the gold. Okay. So that is, those are the differences. So you can print this as a four color job. You can print it as a one color job, a two color job, or a three color job. It's up to you. Other thing that I did find out about uh, Separation Studio is when I go over here to the colors, I double click it, I could change the saturation. So if I want it less yellow or less gold, I can go in and play with that and change that. Okay. Um, this looks pretty much right on the money for me though. So I would just leave this alone. If I didn't want to do a top white, I'd probably take that top white off, bump down that saturation here, and uh, till about there and that design would be fine for me okay so once you've done everything that you want to do you can also bring in a black channel now this is on a black shirt and uh, the black everything that's in this design that is black is actually the t-shirt so if you want to bring in a black channel you could go generate black it has three different options and I'm not too familiar with them yet skeletal detailed and sharper and you just click it import that same picture and it turns it to uh, it'll give you the black color, that black color channel and it'll be down here for you to print your black we're not going to do that because this design doesn't cost for that I don't know what all of this is yet but it's pretty self explanatory to me it looks like this will move something and drag stuff and um, be able to zoom in it looks like a lasso tool a polygon lasso tool a selection tool Looks like a saturation tool everything kind of tells you here what you can do which is something that I really really like um, and I'm gonna go here to view you got your zoom out zoom in viewing your different colors and everything windows active channels um, when I downloaded this there was a user guide which was off the chain okay which breaks everything down um, for you, which is why I really, I was really, really impressed with that, having detailed instructions 
on it. And um, to be honest, guys, the Ryanette videos were just so easy to follow. Okay, they were very, very easy to follow. And um, the teaching, there was nothing left to wonder about. It wasn't like some guy showing you how to do this and missing parts and whatnot. So it was very, very easy to learn. Like I said, I just opened this thing within, from me watching the video and then opening it up, I could easily just separate something. So I'm going to go here, and he did it in Illustrator. I'm going to do uh, this in Corel. So I would just go here and just close this, save this as whatever I want to save it as. It's going to save it as an EPS file. Once it saves it as an EPS file, let me just kind of downsize that. You're going to go in, find that EPS file. You're going to open Corel on your uh on your desktop. Now I've already opened this, but this is how you're going to get these color palettes down here. Um, what happens is it's going to bring in its own uh, the color palette for you. So what you do to activate it, you're going to go in, you're going to import, and when you import, and let me just do it just to just to go in and show you guys. File. I'm going to go to import and here's the file that you want to import because this is very important. You're going to import it as an EPS, okay? Make sure you don't import it as edible or it'll just put all of your um, all of your films on one page and they'll just be stacked on top of each other and you'll have to separate them and go in and put them on layers. So click this, okay? Once you click it, just put your cursor there and hit the enter. That'll center your design for you, okay? So once it centers your design for you, you're ready to go. Um, ideally, you want to export and import in the same size that you're printing. So that's why I did that. You could drag it if you needed to. Here's another tip. Click on the right side of uh, this uh, of your paper, the, the gray. Double click it. That'll bring up your page size if you ever need to change your paper size or anything like that. But that brings up the document tab for you. Okay. Um, another trick that you could do is to drag your image down to your color document and it'll open up your color uh, your um, colors. I'm not going to do it now because I'm going to try to open this over here and see if it'll open it up uh, bring in my colors. I noticed that when I do that from my color manager pull the document colors from here it doesn't match what um, I got in separation studio so I'm going to hit, this is how you're going to activate your document colors. You're going to go to print, go to color, go to separations. Under separations, now here are the colors. And I'm thinking that because I already pulled this in before, it's not generating my colors. But the colors are there. I think that the program knows that I have this open somewhere else. The colors are there. And, uh, it'll generate those colors which was um, right here which is the color tabs the very first time I opened it second and third time with me op having it all open it's not doing it but it generates those color those colors so these are the colors that I'm using um, and of course you know that we have that this is going to be printed on black so we don't have black so if I wanted to come in and add some text here, I could add text in here and I could use the same red, uh, click on the eye drop on the red dropper and use the same red as what I have in my design. But this design is ready to go and to be uh, ripped in uh, Corel, uh, uh, ripped in uh, whatever rip program that you 
that you want to rip it in. Um, I don't know if I can, I believe, let's see here, I could probably go here and I don't have any rip software or anything on this computer right now, so we're just going to leave the video at that, but that's um, how you separate in uh, Separation Studio. And I know that somebody's going to comment on all the noise and everything, but hey, like I said, I didn't prep this video, I didn't prep the image prehand. It'll print, it'll turn out fine. Okay, thanks for watching.